here. It's possible it's, what is it, like 7 a.m. now or something crazy? It's like 10 a.m. 10 a.m. He might be watching this for all I know. So, JJ if there, shout outs. Good luck at Evo Japan. We're going to get underway here. Tyroy Big Mac, the one two seeds for the day. Uh, Sheik Bayo, and let's see if Big Mac can finally figure out Tyroy's ba uh, Bayonetta, which I believe he only has one set on. Or if Tyroy is going to continue to run this table. Town City is going to be the stage one choice. Makes a lot of sense here. Um, there's that old final destination portion, which Sheik really loves. But also the platform layout is really good for Bayonetta. The low ceiling is really good for Bayonetta. Oh my and, god. One yeah. early witch time and goodbye. Big Ty Mac told me earlier that he was really rooting for Bushi earlier. Because A, he just didn't want to fight Tyroy in winners. B, he just roots for Sheik's, particularly in this matchup. Because... He told him, and in Big Mac's words, I am clueless in this matchup. I need as much help as I can get. I need to study as many sheiks as I can. Despite the fact that he plays against Tyra every week, he still feels clueless. That tells you something about Tyra's skill level and ability to mix up what his character does, and just how difficult it is to play against this character. Although on the ledge right there, popping Tyra up and hitting him with the up air to kind of even out this game, something he needs to do to start out. Not too far behind now is Big Mac, and he can he's really just a couple needles away, a couple grabs the bouncing fishes away from tying up this game, but here comes a, an answer from Tyra, but there, there's that DI down you were talking about. Uh, able to fall out of that afterburner kick, make sure no Witch Twist 2 connects. Yeah, something he needed desperately in that situation, just to not get killed off the top. Again, he already at 79%. Bell can kill you more ways than just comping you off the top. Many, many more ways, and that's not even including Witch Time. So Big Mac just, you, you have to play so patiently and around so many different things. But conditioning also playing a part. He hasn't really gone for many grabs early, so maybe we might see more grabs in games three and four. Might be good for him even in this game one to kind of not do too much in the way of grabbing. Try to bait out some witch times and get some full-on punishes. Because he just put on 40% there. No fear of the witch time, even though it got hit on him to start the set, basically. Big Mac's got this stage, and he's trying not to give it away. And he's going to catch Tyroy there, but not enough to take the stock. Good DI staying away, but that bouncing oh. fish will follow up and seal the deal. Excellent play coming out from Big Mac. He's able to sneak out those needles just in time. I love watching Big Mac's facial expressions when he wins games, because he always looks at Tyroy and goes, yeah, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> like every time. Yeah, I don't know how I won. Looking real good, though. Tyroy had one good combo and then was on his heels the rest of the game, pun intended. And now where are they going? They're going to Dreamland, it looks like. Okay, here, this is Tyroy's typical stage counter pick. He likes that tri-platform. And I think why Aztec didn't go here is because that top platform on Dreamland is so high up that Sheik can just kind of play the Tyroy game there. So, like, how is Lucas going to approach this top battlefield platform? He really doesn't have too many options other than, like, up air. But that's not this set, that's a couple sets ago. Yeah, we're, we're not talking about... 26th or whatever best character in the game. We're talking about two, two <laughs> top five characters in this game. Going at it. Makes you wonder if on Dreamland, Sheik has anything that he can utilize, or she can, he, she, whatever, Sheik, that's actually Zelda, um, can utilize in given some of these circumstances. Um, for example, can you fall down on the platform and tech away from some of the Bayo combos because of the height of the platform? You don't see it too often as that pivot grab. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Big Mac right now, because that pivot grab into the move that he wanted, he missed it by like a frame, and it turned into just Bayo up B, and you're going for a ride. Oh, good. dashing up smash. Sour Spot gonna hit, just gonna buy enough time here for Big Mac to take the stage. But now Bayo gets it right back with that forward throw to Guns. Vanishing onto stage. Tyra expected him to go a little bit farther and went for the dash grab. Landed a little bit closer, and the wind box pushing Tyra away as well. Now they're both going to be at 100%. I love that falling Nair up smash attempt. I wonder if that's a thing that he might be able to figure out a way to hit more consistently, as Tyra with the good follow-up, forcing the stock way up up the stage. You went with a double jump witch twist, and it caught. I think Tyra might have been able to escape from that, but just didn't react in time to the follow-up. Tyra's been really sneaky with some of these witch twists. Oh! Okay, he's not going to kill him. Even then, Sheik can fly, so you have to, like, send Sheik to the blast zone if you go for some of those fair shenanigans. What's up, Bat with it? And we're going up. Are we going all the way up? No, but it's great damage, and he still has the triple jump behind it. Oh, landing up smash! 
using that fast fall to get there in time to punish the special end lag. Big Mac and I just literally looked at each other and shrugged at the same time when that happened. And I can't even blame him because, like, all right, you take those when you can. Like, it looked like the, the set was over. Or not the set, the, the game was over. More uh, players need to do that. Find ways to just get down there and punish that special end lag. Not every character can do it because some don't fall fast enough, but Sheik's definitely there. Yeah, the characters that can that are good are pretty much Sheik, Fox, and Cloud with Limit. Mm -hmm. But even then, you have that falling down air, which can be a mix-up. And that actually almost killed Sheik off the side. Double tilt. Fair. Getting some damage in. All right, Needle's are prime here, but we're not really in a Needle Bouncing Fish kill territory off the side. And good retreat away there after that grenade came out, because if Big Mac was too close and that Witch Time came out, that would be Big Mac just in full stun and he'd be dead. He needed to retreat to make sure that the Witch Time got the projectile amount. He is really not letting Tyro breathe. Tyro might be maybe feeling a little bit of fatigue from MSM and from uh, Genesis back there. Not quite going to kill Sheik. That's Sheik's job in this matchup. There's not really too many characters that have that freaking data that can just get in Bayo's face and force her to react. Oh, that was almost the tech read. Yeah, and wrong tech roll. It was 50-50 there. If Tyra techs out, he dies. Tyra wisely teching across the platform the other direction. Yeah, Tyra made the right choice because if he had teched in place or teched to the right, he was dead. Mm -hmm. Big Mac covered two of three. But actually three of four if you also count no tech. So Tyra just made the correct call. Sometimes that's what you Big Mac play the player. odds. Because, like, a player as good as Tyler, if he catches you at that percent, you're putting yourself in a situation where you might just die to multiple things. Oh. What? What? Oh. What is oh. happening? Sheik oh. Mario. All right. I'm about it. I haven't seen Tyra as Sheik in a oh? minute. And I'm a fan of Big Mac's Mario. Okay, so I am so happy to be looking at this right now. Game three, winners finals. Sheik, and it's not the one you'd expect. And Mario, not the one you'd expect. So let's go on Smashville. Taking us back in time. Yeah, I, I remember when this was like the tilts, matchup. These up tilts from Tyroy, like reverse. Has he been labbing the Sheik again to deal with Cloud? His Sheik has always been hyper aggro. I'm not surprised to see him just going straight in, especially because Did this is say that Big Mac Mario. We're talking about, like, the king of Urbana champagne duck. I'm talking about since the Sheik nerf, it's been hyper aggro. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I've, whenever he's picked Sheik, it's just been, he goes in and he just presses every button. Since Duck Hunt was banned, basically. All right, here comes Mario. Mario just really needs that one grab, as is stated, and this is pretty much even, but oh, okay, Big Mac not going to be able to get the follow-up up tilt. Go back here out of shield. Something he needed just to keep... Tyra away from him. Tyra looked great, but it only did 90 damage. And Mario, very different from, like, the Sheik Bayo that we just saw. Like, Mario, a heavy boy. Like, you're not just gonna kill him with Sheik at 100, usually. You gotta get him to, like, 130. Go for your confirms. Alright, and now we're just... This has been just some slow spacing between the two of them. Just as this opened up lightning fast, and then there was the answer right back. It's just been slow and steady. When's the last time that these two guys even played each other with these characters? Or when's the, I'm sorry, when's the last time these two people played the characters they're playing? Like, they've been playing Bayo slash Sheik all night. But Up there from Sheik, Big Mac going, oh, so that's how that feels. Okay, that forward smash almost able to catch Sheik. Sheik does pop up a little bit at the ledge there. He can allow you to catch that. Maybe down smash would have been a, a quicker option to do to fire away. And that probably would have been enough to kill Sheik as well, so... Oh, but he's gonna get caught. Is no it bad grab. That because that vanish missed ledge a minute ago, that I wanted that flood kill so badly. Up smash gonna trade there and kill. Sheik was at 120. You kind of made a face like that really killed, but Mario had just a little bit of rage from the hit, and that was just enough. That must have been really like the lower bound of that killing. Sheik, yeah, it was it was pretty close to not working, but like Sheik is so light, like unbelievably, people don't realize sometimes. And I honestly, with, with that little rage, I wouldn't have guessed that it would kill, but I also wasn't surprised. And meanwhile, while we were talking about that, Mario's at 91% again. Finally gets his grab. Can't get the up airs, he was too high. I up. don't think he should have gone for the third up tilt. Maybe go for the up air follow-up after that. And now these just combos aren't quite connecting the way that Big Mac wants. 
that crazy hitbox on that falling dare, I believe, the little spin tornado. I think that's dare. Yeah, that's down there. Trying to push the button in my head. Just, oh, yeah. go for the dunk. He was perfect. <laughs> oh my god, I wanted that. Now he was going for the rage Mario tornado. That move scales with rage ridiculously. There's the dunk. I got a dunk, I'm happy. He didn't die, but that move is so cool. Yeah, Tyroid DI'd in as you need to, because if you DI out, you die. It's Isn't pretty much guaranteed at that one weird percent. So you just eat the punish, and then you don't die. Ooh, good up tilt. That almost killed, too. <laughs> okay. If that had killed, I would have asked to review the tapes. <laughs> that would also require you to go back and view every Luma kill tape forever. Up throw? No. I'm gonna go for the back throw. It's a little stale now. He'd already used it once. Tyre went, like, super low on that recovery. I think he was just trying to wait for the, the flood to come out a little errantly. But two bouncing fishes in a row is gonna work! Yeah. <laughs> he said I air dodged, I swear I did. <laughs> just a mini missed input. But the man in the Kingdom Hearts hat, uh, just kind of shaking his head, he's like, alright, you got that. And the crowd, actually, I hear them on the delay, they just... Uh, the crowd is super into this. They were into we got, the match. This isn't... Bayo and Sheik. This is other Sheik and Mario. Of course the crowd is into this. <laughs> I actually haven't heard a crowd reaction so, from outside of this booth in here before. That was the saddest in a long sentence time. I've ever been told. Tyra just looked over and said, oh, there's no way they're cheering for me. Hell, man. What? No. You're Chicago. That's not how it works here. Okay. All right, we got some blank combos, but then we just got four up tilts in a row. Forward tilts. Pardon me. I don't think Blank would have followed up with four forward tilts. Probably not. But it worked. All right, Mario taking a nap. Yeah, Mario has had enough of this. <laughs> this nasty Hyrule woman beating him up. <laughs> you know what it is? I think Tyra is trying to get a flight to uh, Hyrule Saga. That must be it. He's got the highest placing Zelda at Evo. And he's trying to get the Sheik back up to speed. He got the highest placing Zelda. Was there like an all Hyro rugged? Or did he go all Zelda? I no, he just played Zelda and won a set. Oh. Okay. We're letting that, that slide. Absolutely. Fair enough. <laughs> Mario's getting a little battered here, and we're seeing Tyra fade away with that fair in just the perfect range. Because Mario wants the dash grab. Ooh, okay. So close. Going for the clip back air on the foot. Just missed it. The bou quick bouncing fish. Quick turnaround bouncing fish. Looking sharp there. Ooh, the tornado not quite enough. That's going to be Sheik living this time. Needed the right. All right, what are you going to go for? I'm going to go for the dunk again. Got to respect the attempts. Like, it's hard not to. Big Mac able to try to land there with that dare. Again, now he's throwing it out there a little bit too much. Tyra's kind of caught onto it. Just trying to feel each other out in neutral. Big Mac went for the pivot grab, missed it by inches, but that dare gonna send Tyra way up. Throwing out like a billion back. Oh, that was a pivot grab that, when he did that forward tilt that turned around, that was absolutely a missed pivot grab. I don't know if it would've caught for Big Mac. Oh, there that it one is. is. Sick use of the ground base movement into the pivot grab back throw on ledge. And we got some Sheik rolls coming out from Big Mac. Four in a row. That's how you know he's a Sheik man. Every character's roll is good in this game. He's got no when to do it. Yeah, but Sheik's is the best. Sheik's is absolutely the same. Diddy's a close second. Diddy's might be better. Diddy might just be a better Diddy's character. has a better hurt box, but Sheik's roll frame data, I think, is just better. Oh yeah, frame data for sure is superior. Diddy's hurt box is so small, it just kind of like evaporates, especially when he rolls. Ooh, taking his time here is Tyra trying to find a way in, but again, I, I think Big Mac needs to work on some of these like rage Mario combo follow ups. I say this every time his Mario comes on. As soon as he gets like any amount of rage, he's been his, going for too many up tilts. His low percent stuff just kind of messes up. He just, he just got to get in his head to go for one less up tilt per, as that up air. Go ahead and take Big Mac down. Tyro with the Sheik coming out. Taking the set 3-1.
Yeah, you know, good stuff. I, I, I love. I've always been a fan of that Sheik. I'm always so happy to see Tyro Sheik because I used to be a huge, huge fan of Tyro Sheik. The way that he used to play the character made me kind of want to play the character. If that makes.